Oni Buju, man's an app kinnige go and our bay and dishnikas. Can a big cook should be guys what and don't jaba, gnoje and do dem. My name is Isaac Murdoch and I'm from Serpent River First Nation. And I'm from the Fish Clan and I currently reside at a place called Nimki Ajbekong. And right now I want to give thanks to the spirit of this land for the heartbeat that it holds for us. I want to give thanks to the waters for giving life to everything. You know, water doesn't have a race. It doesn't have a color. It doesn't have a preference. All water does is just give life to everything it comes into contact with, like a river. I want to give thanks for the beautiful diversity of the forest because everything gives everything to everything. And what a beautiful way to be. And so I give thanks for this. I give thanks for the beautiful skies, the clouds, the sun, the moon. You know, there's such magic and mystery in all of this. And I give thanks for that. And I also give thanks for you. You're, you're graduating. You're actually really doing it. And so, you know, congratulations. Because this is a huge milestone. So take this as an opportunity to really build on the very sacred principles of the lands and waters, which is respect. You know, respect each other's diversity. Respect each other's differences and build each other up. Because right now the world needs that. The world needs us to lift each other up. And so, of course, as you move on in your education, in your life, always remember that respect is the founding principle of who we are as human beings. And when we unite, when we put our good ideas together, we can change anything. And right now the world needs that good change. And guess what? You can do it. Happy graduation. I'm very proud of all of you. Keep going. Keep striving. You're doing amazing work. And I'm so incredibly proud of you. So thank you very much. Bama pig wab min minwa. Nahao. We will see each other soon. Thank you very much for your time, everybody. Happy graduation. Blessed day to all of you. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. My brothers and sisters, let us begin with prayer as we celebrate your graduation, as you move forward now to university, college, or the workforce. Let us, as we should, begin with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Gracious Lord, we thank you for the many gifts you have given us this year, for the gifts of our teachers, our parents who have been there for us, for the gifts of knowledge and learning about ourselves, the world, and God. May you help us to discern where our next journey will take us, to university, to college, or the workforce, that in whatever we do, we may always honor you with our lives. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. My name is Anna De Silva, and I am your Catholic School Board Trustee. Today, we celebrate one of the most momentous occasions in your life, your graduation from high school. We're celebrating this special event during a time when we cannot be together physically with our family, friends, and teachers because of the pandemic. I know that you must be disappointed that we cannot be together, and I completely understand your frustrations. Regardless of the situation, what is most important to remember that you spent the last four years of your life working towards the achievement of this goal, getting your high school diploma. I want you to know that all your hard work was not wasted. We have all learned something from this pandemic. 
that no matter how challenging things become, life goes on. And God is always there to help us get through the hard times. I want to thank families for all the support that they have given their students over the years. And I also want to thank the administrators, the teachers, the chaplains, and the support workers who have all worked to get our children to where they are today. Thank you for choosing a Catholic education and God bless you and keep you. And most of all, congratulations, grad, you did it. Have a great summer. Hello to the Cardinal Legend graduating class of 2020. My name is Anne Murray, and I've had the honor of being the co-chair and chair of the Cardinal Legend Parent Council for the last four years. As my own daughter is part of the graduating class this year, this too is my final year at Cardinal Legend. It has been quite a journey watching you grow and become the unique individuals that you are. On behalf of the Parent Council and all of your parents and guardians, I would like to say how proud we are of you and of your accomplishments in this unprecedented year. Although this is not the way anyone thought the class of 2020 would graduate, you have shown that you are resilient and strong and can handle anything that life throws at you. As you move on to the next phase of your life, be proud of yourself. Congratulations to the Cardinal Legend class of 2020. <laughs> Hello, Cardinal Leger students and graduates. Um, I just wanted to congratulate you uh, on reaching this milestone, significant milestone under um, difficult circumstances. Um, we all know that hard work and dedication can go a long ways and um, just wanted to say um, on behalf of um, myself, my coaching staff, the Toronto Raptors players and organization, uh, congratulations to you all and good luck with everything in the future. Take care. Hey Lancers. We hope you're doing well. And staying safe. First of all, we'd like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for nominating us as the 2020 Valedictorians. We're so excited to be representing such an amazing group of seniors and it's such an amazing honor. We know that these past four years have been crazy, especially this last year. This past year alone, we had to deal with strikes, snow days, and now a global pandemic. But we made it through. We did it. After all, we're Lancers, and we can get through anything together. We may not be able to celebrate this amazing milestone together in person yet, but we can't wait to see you all at our official graduation. Until then, stay safe. We miss you all. See you soon. With all the events happening in our world right now, we would like to take this moment to congratulate our fellow classmates, the first French immersion class to come out of Cardinal Leger. Nous voulons vous féliciter. Bravo, vous avez réussi. Et c'est le fruit d'un effort constant, d'un travail acharné et d'un engagement certain tout au long de l'année. It is crazy to think that some of us have been on this journey together since grade one when we first stepped into the portables at St. Joachim. And although many of us came from different schools to Cardinal Leger and had many differences, there was one thing that united us all. C'était la langue française. Nous sommes le premier groupe d'étudiants en immersion française diplômée. Et c'est vraiment une grande réalisation. Par le français est merveilleux à tout. French is the only language other than English spoken on five continents. Aujourd'hui, vous êtes les meilleurs ambassadeurs de la langue française. Mais pas seulement, vous incarnez l'avenir du monde dans lequel le fait de parler plusieurs langues sera un atout indispensable pour comprendre les autres et mieux appréhendre les défis de demain. La connaissance de l'autre est le premier pas vers l'entente et vers la paix. You embody the future of a world in which speaking several languages will be an indispensable asset to understand others and better tackle the challenges of tomorrow. Knowledge of the other is the first step towards progress, understanding, and world peace. Finissant de Cardinal Léger. Nous l'avons fait. Félicitations.
My dear Leger graduates, I am honored to be able to address you today as your principal, and it's been my privilege to get to know you over the last four years and watch you mature and grow into incredible young adults. But I'm sad. I'm sad and disappointed because I am sure we'd all agree that this is not a fitting or appropriate way to honor you and all that you've achieved during your time at Leger. We should be together, face to face as a community and family celebrating you. So I'll dispense with all the usual pleasantries of welcoming everyone, all the dignitaries, as there have been many words of welcome before me on this video. We'll save that for when we can be together and acknowledge you as you so rightly deserve. This video is merely a farewell, a small celebration, and a see you later, if you will, because I continue to hope and pray that we will have a proper commencement ceremony in the fall, as it should be. You've succeeded, you've made it, despite all the obstacles that have been thrown in your way. You've succeeded with the love and aid of others, without a doubt. Your parents, your guardians, your family and teachers, support staff, all played a role in your success, and I thank them all for that. But you would not have succeeded unless you chose to do so, and you did. You are part of a living history, you started your high school career before the great pandemic, and succeeded despite of it. As teachers and parents, we hope to instill in you many qualities that you may need as you move through life, with resilience and perseverance being just two of them. You've already demonstrated those qualities, you've persevered and made the best of what you could in the midst of this tragic and inconceivable world crisis. I promise you, you will be better for it. And the world is changing in front of our very eyes, a world that's needed to change for a very long time. You, my young friends, are the agents of that change. The ones that will make a difference and correct our mistakes. Continue to speak up, have a voice, be a voice for the voiceless. Proverbs say, speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, speak up for the poor and helpless and see that they get justice. The world is full of injustice and oppression and the terrible sin of racism continues to plague us. We must do better we have to. When we look for an example, a role model, we need to look no further than our Savior Jesus. No one else was more committed to defending those that needed protection. No one else was louder when speaking out, when speaking out against injustice. This, my young graduates, are who we are called to follow. Jesus Christ, you are the ones, the ones who will make the change and you will continue to make us proud. My dear Lancer graduates, I'll end by wishing you well, and I'll continue to pray that the Holy Spirit guides you and keeps you safe so that we can be together in the fall to celebrate all your achievements and all your successes. We are proud of you, we miss you, and God bless you. We'll see you again soon.
many of you are wondering, how will this year of COVID-19 affect your life? Well, one thing is true is it's made us all remember that we are precious in God's eyes and that all of us need and should have roles to play to protect each other. So I encourage you, as you now move forward in your new life journey to a university, to college, or to the workforce, continue to live out your life fully in the Lord. We love you. If you need in any way any uh, help or support, please remember you just give us a call and we'll be there for you. Again, congratulations. Congratulations, guys. I was wondering and thinking to myself, what advice can I give to you guys as you journey? You are now seniors. You are now, you will very soon enter the workforce. So I'm thinking that we're in an era of fake news when we are confused about the true values of life. One thing I want you to remember, there is only one person in history who claims to be the truth and who actually demonstrated by his word and action that he is the truth. Think about it. Jesus is the truth, the way and the life. Only with him will you be truly free as you enter into the society. So keep that in mind. God bless you and congratulations once more. Bye. And indeed, that is the truth of what Father Patrick said. And so in conclusion, Father Patrick and I would like to extend to you our blessings. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.